Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us with Cthulhu Saves the World on the PC. Last time, we finished up the Water Shrine, or Water Temple, or whatever. And either way, it uh, had water lowering and rising puzzles, kinda. So nowhere near as bad as the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. And we got through it reasonably fast, and fought Shuggy, who put up a pretty good fight, but we managed to do better. So that was awesome. And off screen, I went ahead and bought and equipped Paws, uh blaster claw there uh yeah I, when i checked it out the damage was slightly lower with the two hits instead of just the one hit but i didn't actually i didn't actually see this ignores defense so it actually works out pretty good um the gun claw with the plus one hit uh, hit an enemy for 590 damage the blaster claw hit the same enemy for uh, let's see i think 480 so yeah, you lose about 100 attack power but at the same time you ignore the defense and it's not that much weaker. We can also hold on to the gun claw for uh, any tough fights that we might need extra extra damage on, but I think we should be A-OK, -okay, especially since uh, Cthulhu and him get the extra hit from the, um, what is it, the Unite skill that I wasn't paying attention to. So that works out pretty nice. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Anyways, we should be able to go through here now, right? Uh, hello, I saved everybody. Um... Am I in the right... Everyone is cured, right? This is the right save file. Yeah. Okay, we just can't go past those dang sailors for whatever reason. Do we have to talk to somebody else? No? Oh, probably when we talk to the sailor captain, he'll make us honorary sailors. Well, if it isn't Cthulhu and his crew, now the micro is all recovered, or now the micro is all recovered, I'd be happy to take you across the sea. Cthulhu and his party of brave adventurers take a short and eventful sea voyage to the north. What strange new adventures await them in this new land? I don't know. But if I go back there, can um, I be considered? A, can I be considered a pirate and go through the? No. Okay. I was hoping. Oh, sorry about that. But oh well, we tried. We tried. We failed. Nothing here for us, I guess. I mean, we can't go to these ones either. Uh, we are honorary sailors, you bozos. Do you think there's even anything behind this door? Probably not. I bet the developers were too lazy to make another map, so we just stuck a sailor in front to block the door. Shoot, we've been found out. <laughs> yeah, okay, you bastards. Nah, that's a shame. Hey, there's no town over here either. Okay, let's start exploring and see if we can't find anything. Should have all sorts of new enemies and whatnot here ready to attack, like the same guys as before. Okay, that's fine, I guess. By the way, Umi's uh, Void is powerful, but uh, expensive, so probably not going to use it as much as uh, I need to. And if we, get, if we find random enemies that have ridiculous amounts of HP, yeah, then they'll have to suffer the wrath of the Void, but... For now, we just have to not worry about it. Uh, stun one enemy or stun a group of enemies. Um, honestly, I think this probably be better for the group because for the most part, he's going to be stuck on uh, healing duty for boss fights. Mm, let's just go with the eighty percent for the one, though, just in case we find like one strong enemy. It's, it's almost guaranteed at that point. Let's just do that. Screw it. There's our town right there. Does anybody need a quick level up here? You do. Um, you know what? You can wait. Welcome to Alice Red. Can't really pronounce that too well, but whatever. Alhaz Red? I'm not sure how to say it. Our poor little town is in dire danger. The volcano to the west. Yeah, yeah, the volcano is going to erupt. Everyone's going to die. Sorry to hear about it. Better luck next time. Actually, the volcano isn't active. No, the danger is the horrible demonic dragon that lives within the volcano. Demon dragons? Now that's something I can deal with. Leave it to me. Alright. Demon dragons of death? Awesome. Cthulhu saves the world the junior novelization. Yeah, it's a work in progress. Collection of old seeing glasses. Very nice. I have to wear glasses myself because, well, I'm nearsighted. Even though, even though it's, in my opinion, it's more 
blurry vision than anything, as far as I can tell. But maybe that's what maybe that's what being nearsighted is for everyone. Everything is just slightly blurrier than it needs to be. I don't know. I don't know what anyone, I don't know how everyone else sees the world. So who knows? You open the door and discover a portal to another dimension. The portal was too small for you to fit into, so we closed the door. Can't we send like a the cat in there or something? He he can tell us what's going on, right? V is for volcano, a child's first alphabet book of destruction. You look powerful. Won't you please travel to the volcano to the west, defeat the monsters within, and save our poor town? Save our town? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of thing a true hero would do. Sure thing. If my Cthulhu voice has been sounding different these last couple episodes, this is what, well, it's just the way it is for right now. Hey, we don't need... Do we need to heal up? Yeah, a little bit. We'll worry about that later, though. Never would have believed that you could stick a full-grown cat inside such a small drawer if you weren't seeing it with your own eyes. See? We can put the cat in the portal. Pompeii, don't let it happen to your town. Moldy pizza. Ugh. Ugh. I love pizza, but not without but without the mold, you know. Virgin sacrifices. Quick fix or a regrettable problem? Yeah, a little bit of both. Actually, was there anything in here? No. Just an empty bookcase. I thought there might be, but you never know. Hey, look at that. It took me exactly where I would have gone anyways. Let's see anything over here. Yes, there is. Three potions. How many damn potions do we have anyways? It's not going to tell me, but I'm pretty sure it's a fair amount. Uh, can I? No. It's a lot of potions. Let's just put it that way. There's our weapon and armor shop that we can check out. Over here. How you doing, kid? Thank you for leaving. I mean, visiting. Alizred. Visiting, leaving. Same thing. Lava and passion. My passion is like lava destroyed everything in its path. Okay, I'm just going to put that back. My passion is like lava hiding inside me and then exploding forth. My passion is like lava, the fire, not the soap. The book goes on like this for page and page. You quickly give up reading. I give up on the first page. Eh, full of water. The heck is wrong with this town? Yes, it's probably going to destroy the town. Burn you all to a crisp. What? I mean, don't worry. I shall travel to the volcano and put an end to its fiery threat. <coughs> Thank you, mister. Dang, Umi ruining all the fun. There's a reason why she's not in the party anymore. It's not because the cat's cooler. Well, it is, but, you know. Dang, Debbie Downers. No, no I, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to... <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to check out the rest of the town, which was like two buildings left. There we go. That's better. Had to set up a few items there, like beverages. Oh, we already talked to you. I wanted to see what was in here. The old man is deep in prayer. It would be best not to disturb him. Hey, man, wake up. I said don't disturb him. Dude, I'm good through. I don't take orders from disembodied narrators. That reminds me of the scene in, um, I think it was George of the Jungle 2, the, sequ uh, the sequel. Which, was, by the way, was crap compared to the first one. The first one was awesome. George of the Jungle was beautiful. George of the Jungle 2, eh, not so much. But uh, the bad guys are having an argument with the narrator. And the narrator gets fucked, uh, not fucked, um, fed up with it. And just reaches down and a giant hand comes down and plucks the guy out of the movie. And takes him out of the movie. And he's like, anybody else got a problem with what I'm saying? And all the bad guys are like, no, no, we're cool. That was a funny scene in that movie. Probably one of the better scenes, but the movie itself not the, not as great as the first one, unfortunately. Have you come to our humble church for to pray for salvation? No, not really. I just like to go around towns to talk to everyone. Of course I have it. I know the threat of volcanic annihilation has everyone worried, but do not fear. Trust in God and we shall be spared. Or trust in Cthulhu and he will do the job, because that's what he does, because he gets paid out of it. And we're running pretty good on the moolah front. All right, now let's see what weapons we can upgrade here. Blood sword, ooh, 170 attack, magic plus 80, vitality plus 100. So yeah, better than what we got. Not much better, but reasonably better. 
I'll be more than happy to upgrade that then. Very good. Blaze Trident. We lose agility again. Fire added to attack. That's actually pretty good, but I don't think we actually need it at the moment. Fire added to attack here. You know, I'm thinking about this, and we're headed to a volcano, so I don't think we actually need the fire to our attack. Um, but I'm tempted to grab it just to check if 250 strength is enough to get over the hit plus one. But at the same time, I don't know if that'll actually make a difference in the in the area coming up because it's a volcano. 70 strength and will, or 70 strength and vitality, will plus 140. By October, honestly, October. You don't actually use your physical attack that much. And this would actually power up your dark spells. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Wisdom Staff. Strength plus 90. Magic plus 180. Crikey, that's ridiculous. Then again, you already have plus 140. So... Sure, why not? Okay, armor. Power tunic. Strength plus 50. Vitality and will. Big boosts. We lose agility. Uh, let's see... Let me actually check your agility real fast. I mean, your agility is pretty good at this point. So it would go down to 200. It still wouldn't change the... It still wouldn't change the battle order with this particular group that I have because you'd still be the third fastest because October is just slow. I mean, as it is... Yeah, as it is, it's always going to be Pause, Sharp, then Cthulhu. So yeah, I might as well do that. And plus, we'll just hold on to it in case we actually do need the extra agility for something. Hot dress for Umi. 50 agility. Okay, we have that there. Uh, strength plus 50. Vitality and will plus 100. So basically, it gives strength. And we lose the water ice plus 50%. So I think we'll be good without that. Gem hilt. Um, we lose the... We lose the magic boost and get slightly better physical defense and magical defense. Uh, no, I think we're good. You, wind plus 50% versus water and ice plus 50%. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this because I'd rather... I more or less use the... Um, what is it? The, the wind spell more anyways because it hits everybody. So yeah, let's do that. And for you, rainbow robe... Vitality plus 90, will plus 180. Yeah, sure, why not? You can, you can afford that. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and do a quick test with the Volcano Blade here. Actually, no, let's go ahead and equip everything. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. You... Yeah, Blood Sword. Oh, I... I never actually checked this Rebirth Sword here. It's not quite as powerful here. But the extra MP is nice. Oh, I might equip that um, for random battles off screen. Uh, like in between episodes when I need a quick MP restore for Cthulhu or something like that. So that's not too bad. But for now, let's just go with uh, the Blood Sword there. Uh, let's see, armor. So you currently have the Astral Tunic, Agility, Vitality, Will. Yeah, the Astral Tunic is nice with the agility, but at the same time, we're getting significant gains in the defense and magic defense department here. So yeah, we're going to have to deal with that for now. Let's see, pause. Armor, no. Did they have any? I don't think they had anything that we could have uh, bought for you. Unless I was just blasting over it. Okay, weapon. Okay, let's see. Oh, did I even buy the Volcano Blade? No, I did not yet. You, Mr. Kilt. October. Yeah, Dark Post 50%, so that's nice. And then get the Windy Tomb for the extra wind damage there, that's nice. Ume. Decker, we need the Wisdom Staff and the Rainbow Robe. Yeah, let's go grab that uh, Volcano Sword real fast just to make sure that it's not going to be 
worth our time or not. And it's only, we have plenty of money. I'm not too terribly worried about wasting the money here. So we'll just have to live. Yeah, fire blade. There we go. All right, let's just get in a quick battle with it. See how it goes. Actually, let me see something real fast. Well, not quite what I was going for, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay, you, your physical attack right now is 223 times 2. So let's just go with the Goblin Elder there. And then you. Oh, look at that void. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. And then Tempest, if we want to use that. Again, beautiful. Look at that. 546. Very nice. Okay, so... Wait a second. Oh, tentacles, that's why. Sharp, 446. Nice. Now. Okay, good. Perfect. To the same guys there, we can do that. Uh, you attack that, you attack that, and you attack the same guy. That, that way we know for a fact he has the same defensive stuff. And uh, you go with a Tempest there. 341. So, 100 or less, still. I think I'll hold on to the Volcano Blade just because it has the fire damage, and if we find something that is with the fire, then that'll be really nice. Okay, uh, they said it was off to the northwest, right? Ooh, I love stealing the spill of the sea, they're all the waves. So, very sick. Excuse me. How does the sword get seasick anyways? I don't know. Ooh. And yet you don't get motion sickness when you're slicing up bad guys? Strange. A seasoned warrior never loses his lunch on the battlefield. Ugh. Poor guy. Um, I think they said it was to the... To the uh, north east? Oh, west. Okay, so just to the west. Perfect. Easy enough to find, I hope. Okay, that's where we came from right there. I do want to see if there's anything off to the east here that we might be able to find. And actually, I forgot to give, um, what's his face, his, his, uh, sword back. Yeah. Oh, well. Combo mask. Oh, that's right. That'll be good for bosses right there. I was, kind of forgot about that. Um, uh, still no text. Any text. Tempest is going to be great now because it has the extra wind damage, so nice. Oh, apparently this guy is weak, to, or not weak to wind, but he's a great juggler, so good for him. Hey, Decker, what do you know? 30 strength, extra MP after victory. Thank you, I'll take that. Uh, let's see, uh, let's go ahead and give you back your multi-blade. Very nice. Okay, okay, there's nothing off to the east here, unless I can get through here. Oh, we can. Hellhound. So what do we got here? Uh, let's see. Picks out, his un picks out his wimpy brother, the Heckhound. Oh, the poor guy. Not that I really care too much. You know, you just attack for a little while. And you just attack, you just attack, and you go with a... a freeze. There you go. There you go. Oh, we can't get through here. Nice. This is off to the east, though, so. Unizor, a deep horse. I know they actually read your description. Writes, exist writes existential poetry in the spare time. Too deep for me, bro. Too deep for me. I can't deal with it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Tentacles. Tentacles. Uh, sword dance. And... Okay. Tempest. See if that kills them all or not. It does. Perfect. Alright, now what is this? This is the Ice Cave with 15 encounters. Let's check it out. And we're not sliding around, so that's perfect. Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. The obligatory Ice Cave. Much like the obligatory sewer levels, which were actually pretty good, because they had that one monster that gave a ton of experience. And this is a dead end. Beautiful. Hello, Sally, a brute, and a gold wisp. She loves romantic comedies. I actually do too. I'm not too big on like actual romances, 
Um, there's a couple like anime and stuff that I have in mind too. And there's a couple romances that I do like, but for the most part, I prefer a romantic comedy over just a straight up romance movie. I mean, most of them, most of the romance, just pure romance movies are kind of sappy, but a lot of the romantic comedies are pretty dang good for the most part. Let's see, Brute wants to be the hero of his own next game, or our next game. Well, you got the looks. And Golden Appearance Alone. Okay. You got the looks for it, bud, so don't let your dreams be dreams. Keep on trying and see how it goes. Let's see, 546. You guys are all in an ice cave, so you might be weak to fire. I don't know. Not about the same, really. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let me see if uh, Sharp's Fire Blade does uh, awesome in here. It might. Oh, that's right where it came from. It might not, but it might at the same time, so we're going to check. Blade Master Royal in a brute. Let's see. Two swords for twice the fun. Yay. The true king of statue. Yeah, he's a winged lion. What, what more can you ask for? Uh, you go with a. Uh, yeah, just go with the uh, void. I guess that works out fine for the most part. You okay? Uh, Three forty-one. Actually, I don't think any of these guys might actually be weak to fire, but whatever. Yeah, you're not weak to fire their statue, like at all. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need to. Let's see, who has the most HP? You guys, let's do that. You go with... Quick draw on that guy. Actually, hang on. Quick draw on that guy. You go with some... Sword dance, and you attack that guy. That didn't work out as well as I hoped. Oh. As long as we don't run into too many of those statues, our... Fire Sword might actually work out pretty good, but those statues seem to be resistant, unfortunately. Nothing down here. This cave is rather empty. It better not just be a bunch of, uh... A bunch of, um... Potions at the end that I don't even care about. Let's see, as for you... See how much the, uh, Gold Wisp takes from me. Yeah, about the same. Yeah, I might just stick with the, uh... I might just end up sticking with the... Regular sword ability. Oh, Sharp is... Or the, the regular double sword. I didn't realize Sharp was stunned. I saw that somebody was stunned, but I wasn't paying attention to the name. But apparently, Sharp is the little bastard that got stunned, unfortunately. Oh, well. Wait, 4,000 experience? You guys are giving out nice experience. I love it. Keep doing that. Thank you. Okay, what do we got here? Over to the middle. Might be something. I want to just get the uh, encounters out of the way, but oh well. Let's see, Tempest and... Void should do pretty good. Cthulhu got stunned this turn? What the heck? In October 2, you fudge your... Okay. Not what I was going for. Who was the one actually doing the, uh... Stunning there? I, wasn't pay I didn't see who actually stunned. Berserk targets random enemies for four hits. Or double spell power next turn only. Um... Yeah, let's just go with the Berserk, because that'd be, again, really good for bosses. Umi, uh, 38 MP in Magic, 30 MP in Agility. Actually, your Agility is pipping high right now, so I'm just going to go with the extra Magic. Like, her Agility is ridiculous. What, what is it? 380. Yeah, that's the second highest out of everyone at the moment, so yeah. I think a lot of that's the equipment, but, well... I'll just have to live. Alright. Let's see what you got here, fellas. Uh, void. 
I want to see if No, I don't think any of those are going to be anything useful. I was thinking about it, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, let's go with the uh, Void for you as well. There we go. And that worked out pretty good. Sharp, what do you got there? 50 max HP or 30 max MP. Um, hmm. Honestly, you do have an MP problem. So let's give that to you for right now. Where is this? It's over here, apparently. Hey, gold wisps. That's all we need right there. Let's see. Okay, void for you. I think for you, we can go ahead and snowstorm because that hit everybody because they're all in a group. Perfect. Tempest, and as for you. Target's one group with resistances down, but no, you're too slow for that to be anything useful at the moment. Like for bosses, yeah, that'd be, work out pretty good because, well, they're gonna last long more. They're gonna last longer than more than one turn. But for random enemies, where well, you're gonna go last anyways, it's just not gonna work out. Lightning one enemy or lightning all enemies. Uh, ooh. Three hits anyways. That's actually really good for a boss right there. Like, really good. That's 1,200, or almost 1,500 damage, actually. This right here, for regular enemies, though. Uh, let's just go with the boss killer again. Because you already have plenty of group stuff that I'm not really too worried about. Um, another everybody attack here. Whereas this right here would be really good against bosses. Yeah, let's do that. Pause, 30 strength. Targets random enemies. Power, 162 times 4. Ice attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's basically the same thing as, uh, what is it? Um, your tentacle attack. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Plenty of battles left, and there's a treasure chest. Glass tilt. Uh, probably not going to be 80 agility, 180 vitality. Yes, that's okay, but again, our agility is plenty high. We don't actually need that at the moment. So we should be fine, I think. Let's see over here. Okay, you're still a great juggler. Good for you. Okay, now let's see. We can do Snowstorm for 162 times 4, or... See, that's roughly 900-ish, whereas you are... 16 through 20. So you're roughly 600-ish. Mm. I'll, I'll go with this just because it hits more enemies, and that would actually work out for chipping away at their health. I mean, if it turns out that there's only three enemies left or whatever, we'll tentacle it and possibly um, <coughs> possibly in bosses when we need the extra damage or whatever. But for random battles with a lot of enemies, I think a snowstorm will be fine because it'll hit, it'll chip off uh, everyone's, or more people's health than just the, than just the uh, tentacles. So that's really nice right there. And, oh, you guys are still doing pretty good here. I think you guys aren't very affected by the whole void thing, unfortunately. Let's do that, Berserk. Let's do Snowstorm, let's do Tempest, and let's do Quake. Yeah, 162 damage for the Blade Master. Seems like it might not be doing a lot of damage to the Warlocks here. Oh, well for the uh, Snowstorm Berserk did beautiful. But again, it had less targets to worry about, so that helps. And Decker, 20 magic, 20 agility, 40 magic, 40 agility. Uh, I think you're kind of slow, so we're just gonna go with the extra magic and agility. So we'll do that. Let's see over here. Okay, 
taking out you. Let's see. Berserk or Void. Okay, let's go with Berserk for right now. Actually, what costs more? 14 versus 20. Yeah, it's cheaper anyways, so there we go. Actually, hang on. Let me see something here. Tentacles, 358 times 3. Okay, it's only slightly weaker, actually. It's only slightly weaker uh, per hit, but with the extra hit, it, I think it wins out. Let's see how well this does. Perfect. I love it. Alright, up here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. A radiant dress for Ume again. They're giving us lots of uh, dresses for Ume here. Magic plus 80, agility plus 60, vitality, will. So, pretty much everything. The only thing we lose out on is the water and ice damage. But, I think I can deal with that. Yeah, let's do that. Especially since I'm not actually using Umi that much. Yes, yes, I know. Shame on me. Ring the bell. Shame. Shame. Shame on Eskimo Poodle. Tough. Suck it. Deal with it. Sorry. Let's see. Tempest and you. Um, where was our... Where was our group? Ah. No, that's just resistances. Okay, never mind. Actually, let me check something here. Uh, oh no, that went from ran group to random enemies, I think. Never mind. Let's see how well this does. Yeah, pretty damn close to one hit kill in the entire party there. Pretty damn close. Let's see down here. Treasure? No treasure. Okay. Hello, gold wisps. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just attack everybody, actually. Uh, we don't have enough MP, like, at all. Okay, so you attack, you... Snowstorm, you Tempest, you Fireball. There you go. Holy crap, that was a lot of it. Where the, f where the heck did all that experience come from? Jeez, I gotta fight those guys more often. Wow. 14,000 experience? I didn't realize they were giving me that much. Insane Strike targets one enemy for two hits, or targets one enemy for three hits. Uh, let's see. Three hits, uh, that's 900-ish. That's closer to 1,200, so yeah, let's do that. Umi, 20 Strength, Magic, and Agility. Yeah, let's do that. But holy crap. 14,000 experience for just those seven little blobs? I might spend some time in this cave at some point because that was beautiful. I mean, I don't, I didn't notice these guys giving that much experience. Like, I don't think they were, were they? Maybe it's just those gold guys that give a ton of experience, which is awesome. Twelve, twelve hundred for you guys, and then fourteen hundred for the other guy. Uh, Pen's might target self. Magic plus one hundred. Strength minus fifty. Yeah, I don't think I'm good. Uh, yeah, that's good for like random battles, but not really that great. Uh, you targets one enemy. Pierce. Yeah, let's do that. October freeze targets one enemy. Ice attack combo finisher. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. I want to make sure there's no chest that I missed because I'm probably I probably did at some point. There was nothing up there, I remember. Uh, down here, I don't think we actually fully explored right here. Uh, let's see, can I do anything for you? I can do a flame strike, but I remember you guys were resistant to uh, flame, if I remember correctly. You. Uh, let's go with a quake. That worked out reasonably well. I need more of those balls because those were beautiful. Yeah, three battles left. You know, let's just get these out of the way and hope that we get that uh, set of balls right there. Um, I'm, gonna, 
I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna actually pay attention to how much uh, experience we get after this battle. Because if, if those are the reasons that we get so much experience here, which it seems like it, then that's awesome. Yeah, four thousand. Okay, that's not that much, but it's still pretty good. Let's see. Fifteen strength, magic, agility, will, vitality. Yeah, let's just go with all stats there. That's perfect. Let's get these other two out of the way real fast. And last one. Oh well. I was hoping for more, um, more gold balls, but oh well. Oh, you guys are tough little bastards, aren't you? Uh, let's go with you. You have the most HP. Snowstorm, Tempest, and Quake. How? Uh. Oh, I got plenty of potions. Like, way too many. Let's heal yourself there. There you go. Okay, let's take out you. There you go. There we go. Alright, no more battle story about... I feel like I'm missing something in this dang cave somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... Yeah, take a minute to go through it, see if we did miss anything. I don't think we did. We're already up here, right? Yes. That's that. I think I'm just going in circles right now. But let's get back to the beginning and check again, and then we're pretty much done because we've been in here for a little while and we got other places to go like the volcano dragon's lair got that well if we did miss anything else well well right, this will go dead end over here nothing wait is that just the exit no I don't think I actually missed anything then. And if I did, well, I feel like I did a good enough job exploring this place that if I forgot something, yeah, we just got some good gear out of it, so that's good enough, I guess. Okay, yeah, so we're done in here. All right, so next episode, we actually are gonna make our way to the um, volcano with the lair of the dragon. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.